The Scarecrow. This is a story from the year 1920. Helen lived with her entire family in a small village. Her son, Sam, was 15 years old, and her husband, Tom, was a farmer. They were spending their life happily. One day, Sam was playing with his friends. Let's play at the farm near the church. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yes, yes, it'll be fun. I'm not going there. If both of you want to go, then go. But our parents told us to never go there. I'm going to obey them. Sam, Jerry, and Ricky go to play on the farm near the church, not listening to Hannah as evening quickly approached. It's evening now. We should go home. Wait, what's the hurry? No, Sam, we should go now. Mommy and Daddy instructed us to never come here anyway. Yes, but why was it forbidden? I don't know exactly, but they say that a ghost comes in the scarecrow of this farm. Sam laughs out loud. <laughs> what a useless story. A ghost and a scarecrow. <laughs> then the strong winds start moving and the lightning starts to whip. Jerry and Ricky now feel fear creep under their skin. Come on, Sam. Let's leave this place. I am scared. No, I have to go find that scarecrow and see if that silly story is really true. Jerry and Ricky then run further into the deepening darkness. How scared are all the folks in this small town? They've made all the children cowards with their dumb stories of... Sam takes a walk in the cornfield. When he walks a little further, he feels that someone is following him. He stops and looks behind him, but doesn't see anybody. Then he continues walking. Then Sam looks to where the scarecrow is normally posted in the field, only to find that there is no scarecrow. Sam is surprised upon this odd discovery. He looks around, but there is no scarecrow anywhere. He begins to feel a little scared. Where did that scarecrow go? I, 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 I think I'm gonna head home now. As Sam turns back to head home, Scarecrow is instantly standing in front of him. Half of his face is burnt. His eyes are red. His face is terrible. Sam is horrified to see him and runs away. But his escape is in vain. Because wherever he ran, Scarecrow would appear in front of him. Sam falls to the ground, and Scarecrow leerily approaches him. Where do you think you're going, child? Get away from me! Let me go! No, I don't let go of anyone. No one escapes. Stay away from my farm. Sam tries to run away. But the Scarecrow grabs his leg and throws him into the air. Sam falls to the ground and is bruised on his head by a stone. He is bleeding. Suddenly, in the same field, it becomes a marsh. And Sam sinks into it, where many more skeletons are around him. Sam's mother and father come to Jerry, Ricky, and Henna, and they look very upset. What's the matter, Auntie? Our son Sam has not come home yet. Do you know where he is? Jerry and Ricky look at each other fearfully. He's on the farm near the church where you told us to never go. Hearing this, Sam's mother begins crying. I'm sure that Scarecrow took my child, too. There's no use in crying. We have to go and look for him. Wait, we should take the help of Father Peter. He will help us. Everyone goes to visit Father Peter to seek help. My father has given his life to liberate that Scarecrow's soul to help this village. I will not let his sacrifices go in vain. Perhaps this is the right time to destroy that Scarecrow. But who is this Scarecrow? And why is everyone so afraid of him? Fifty years ago, a farmer lived near the farm beside the church named Max. 
he used to grow the best grains in his field, and he was progressing day by day, seeing his other farmers in the village start to get jealous. Everyone slowly avoided Max. Max felt very alone, for he was unmarried and both of his parents had also died. But his profits would be many times more than all the other farmers. All the farmers were upset about this. They jointly made a plan. One night, while Max was sleeping at his house, farmers went into his field and set it ablaze, and all his wheat was burnt. Max ran into his fields and saw that the fields were burning, and he realized that it was the work of the jealous farmers. He took a hammer and hit it on the head of one farmer, and all the other farmers brought him near his burning fields and tied him to the scarecrow along with the farm. He died too. But his soul is imprisoned in that scarecrow, and then that scarecrow killed all the peasants, and whoever goes around the farm since then, well, he kills them too. We'll have to find Sam soon, Uncle Peter. Peter, Helen, and Tom come to the farm and start calling Sam. As Helen's torch falls to the ground, she sees that Sam's clothes are lying there. As she leans down to pick them up, she sees two very frightening feet. She slowly raises the torch, trembling in fear, and sees Scarecrow looming menacingly in front of her. Stay away from my fields. Scarecrow pushes Helen, and Tom points the torch towards Scarecrow, but he does not fear anything. Where is my son Sam? What did you do to him? I buried him in this land. And now I will do the same with you three. Scarecrow attacks Tom and he faints. He again turns the fields to swamps all around, and Sam's corpse begins to appear as well. Helen and Tom start to sink inside the swamp. My son Sam? Tom! Save us, Peter! Peter, who stands away from the farm, takes a little bottle of holy water and pours it over the Scarecrow. Scarecrow starts screaming with pain. Peter slowly pours the entire bottle over him. The Scarecrow is shattered and slowly merges into the soil. Helen and Tom start crying when they find their son's corpse. Sorry, Helen, I could not save your son, but your son's sacrifice saved the villagers from that monster today. The End